hello world this is going to be a nice battle that i had with the russian guy and that's why uh the name is so like weird but see i guess you just don't like uh non-english speaker or non-latin speaker so this is going to be a verney boy eh? Uh, I uh, was just testing out a uh, build for, um, you know, for uh, Eagles Rising Tournament and my opponent uh, throws for like uh, 6 max of the same, no limit on the uh, source which is uh, strange <laughs> Max, uh, 2 horse archers, max for uh, Jaren cavalry, no artillery and max on elephant or chariot so I got pretty standard build and pretty boring build but though barbarians are boring and just broken so except like Caravaccio and Odrishans all others are just broken but uh, let's see 5 Le Freeman, 3 Singers, uh, 5 Chosen Swords, 2 Oldsworn of course with uh, second wind uh, version Gatrix I really hate uh, that uh, general, like to me, the only general which is from Caesar in Go DLC that is worth it is Revistas. I just don't like the other generals. Just second with hand hand is a lot more powerful combo to me than uh, Versin Gatrix, and for Rome, you can just use it one time. And Commander General is a lot better because even if General is dead, you could still uh, raise the banner, which gives you a nice boost to melee defense. And with Caesar, you just press uh, one, uh, you know, a lot of the tenth legion or something, and your General is useless. Like you can't even raise morale or even battle return. So, but yeah, I got. Uh, Nice uh, rare build and from my opponent 6 left Freeman, 3 heavy horse with uh, noble horse gen, sec, uh, strategy gen, uh, light horse, old sword, chaotic balls, and sword followers. So, usually, Arverni always lose to Boy Eye, like always, because of the where were the sword followers and the chon sword so five more uh, attack for the sword followers same weapon damage same charge uh strong swords got more uh, melee defense same armor but what uh, it makes it really really difficult for the chon swords are the lack of health five uh, health uh, lower so I'm going to do a nice cavalry yo charge. Most think it uh, kind of like too risky, but to me it's just essential f uh, to remove the boy I lay Freeman, because then the sword followers can't really uh, cycle charge, and those one can can cycle charge, and I'll have all my lay Freeman, so I can play a lot safer, and. Pretty much all of the enemy left Freeman are routing. The light horse here lost like 13 guys, like 14 actually. Uh, this is a very bad charge, so I'm going to call it off and uh, recharge this left Freeman. And I'm shooting at the sword followers to do some HP damage because I need to lower their health so the Chon Swordsman can stand a chance. The Chon Swordsmen are uh, charging the Cat Horse. Nice swap with the Heavy Horse, but it's just uh, not fast enough because the Heavy Horse actually knocked down the Chaotic Horse unit, and my Chon Swords got really, really nice charge and uh, wrecked like five Heavy Horse. Yeah, just zero kills for the Heavy Horse, lost eight guys. The Chaotic Horse can't do anything to Chon Swords. The Old Swords are charging the Sword Followers here. The Light Horse are dying. 
but there is a sword follower in which could uh, wreck my entire flank but i got one chon swords in reserve the, cho the sword followers are uh, rushing in let's do it uh, normal my left freeman should retreat but i'm a bit slow with the micro as always uh, the channel swordsman will get absolutely destroyed by uh, this um, sword follower but i'm getting nice shots into the in, into the units here that are kind of around my uh, chon swords i'm charging some heavy horse here because i noticed that my opponent will just blob cover here in expecting to win but this is massive mistake because of one little cheat ability which is called frenzy charge <laughs> so even if my heavy horse are getting massacred they won't die because i'll just activate frenzy charge and uh, they just won't trout they will just fight to the last man for like a minute or something so i can just tie down the enemy cover here while i'm uh, struggling to defeat the sword followers and sword followers here are getting ranked by the outsorms but these guys here will probably destroy my each one swordsman with the help of the outsorm the sword followers here are getting absolutely massacred by my um, uh, chon swords but the is because of the Celtic Clingers they killed like 13 sword followers already and I'm going to charge with the general outsorm I charge here because I have to stop the, these units I managed to uh, just uh, get one heavy horse behind the enemy rear which is going to be really nice for me the heavy horse are not uh, being uh, micro 12 they're just staying uh, in extend melee with my swords which is terrible idea let's see here the chon swords are uh, destroying the sword followers because they bucked in uh, shield wall so very nice for me these heavy horse are going to destroy this little blob the heavy horse here activated the uh, frenzy charge um kind of too early i would say yeah you can see i activate frenzy charge 10 guys uh, remain and still won't route and now i'm going to just uh, activate the frenzy charge and they just won't route <laughs> yeah you can see that it's so so broken and let's see the sword followers here are getting massacred but uh, these uh, sword followers are getting kited by three slingers i think no actually this slinger was shooting on the old swarm but i'm going to tie down uh, this sword follower with the left freeman while i'm uh, continuing to shoot this uh, chon sword won very very decisively against the sword followers now they can uh, charge the enemy old swarm, which is getting wrecked uh let's see here the chaotic horrors are still not dead i won all of these fights and i'm going to tie down this uh, sword follower so i can shoot even more but uh more point i think tried to pull through through the cavalry but uh it kind of bugged because the unit kind of ignored his order which is strange so that was really really decisive win for me which should never happen because boy i just so OP. but uh i think it was because uh my opponent just didn't expect uh, uh front yo charge with the cavalry and you can see that his cavalry didn't do much damage at all my cover did a lot better and one of my heavy horse even did uh, better than his uh, noble horse which is yeah not very good for the noble horse the levy freeman got very very nice kills the enemy levy freeman got tracked by cavalry the sword followers even though they outnumbered um, my chon swords they uh actually did kind of worse but these chon swords uh got tracked by four strength sword followers 
and that should be the case for all uh, Chon Swords and not they never should have uh, gotten so many kills against uh, Sword Followers but uh, guess I just uh, heard the Sword Followers bad with the uh, Chaotic Fingers and then with the Heavy Horse but uh, well played and as you can see Arverni can uh, beat Boyai if Boyai can make some mistakes and I actually thought that Boyai will win like every time against Cerverni. It's like if uh, let's say Sparta uh, match up with Pergamon. What? <laughs> just what chance has uh, Pergamon? Rural Spartans just destroy the murder. Yeah, there's some uh, fair matchups with uh, in Rome too. But as you can see, Arverni can definitely beat Boye. So thank you guys for watching this uh, fun battle. And I'm going to cast another uh, uh, match soon, which will be me testing uh, if Athens can beat Massilia. I want to prove they were wrong for first time <laughs> and show him that uh, Massilia doesn't win every time versus Athens. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.